Senior Briscoff? Yes? Are you sure you don't have any notes that might give a clue about this friend? I can assure you, Captain, that I really wish I did. It would make me feel a lot... Miss Brown? Yes, dear. Do you know anything about the Golden Turtle? Governor Tanner had a fanciful notion about it. I took no notice. I've discovered that Tanner had a good friend on the island. Do you know who it was? He often explored the island, visiting the native islanders, that kind of thing. However, he never mentioned that anyone was a particular friend. Could you tell me which parts of the island Tanner visited? I felt it was not my business to ask the details. I'm not a gossip like Sancha, after all. You'd think Sancha might know. That woman has her ear to the ground so regularly, it's a wonder her head isn't trampled. Hello, Sancha. Morgane! You told me you never came to this side of the island. Did you lie to me? Only if you consider not telling the truth to be a lie! What? Uh, are you hiding something? What are you doing here? I'll tell you if you promise not to tell anyone else. Of course. Your secret is safe with me. Oh, thank you. I'm panning for precious stones for my jewelry. Can't you do that on the other side of the island? This is the only place that has these stones. And Hilary Simpkins doesn't mind? He doesn't know. I only come here when he's away on... Tanner used to have a particular friend on the island. Do you know who? Tanner was the governor. I never had any dealings with such an important man. Miss Brown told me that Tanner often went into the jungle to talk to the islanders. I don't know if they'll be able to help, but you should talk to the two chiefs. The chiefs? Jamin and Bajari. Can you tell me how to find the chiefs? Chief Bajari has posted guards at his village and won't let anyone enter. What about the other guy, Jamin? The Vuru village is off the jungle trail. Take the second path to the left. Thanks, Sancha. Hello, I'm Morgane. I wonder if you could help me. I am Bibli. Is that his name or his disposition? See? I told you not to tell any- I'm not going to use the name you chose for yourself. Why? What's wrong with Mighty Conga? <laughs> it makes you sound like a party dance. Is this the Vuro village? Of course. This place gives me the creeps. I'm glad I'm not here alone. Are you two guarding this temple? Yes, and I am glad I have my back to it. We are here to prevent anyone entering. Do you know where I could find Chief Chairman? He's up on the platforms, the upper level of the village. I don't know how he can live up there. Height makes me so giddy. Do you know anything about Chief Bajari? He is our much respected leader. But he's in the temple at the moment because he's not feeling well. Dumbi! You're not supposed to tell anyone. Can I speak to him? I'm afraid he won't see anyone until Chemin has cured his ailment. I thought Chemin was on the upper level. He is. He is in a trance searching for a cure. <laughs> Spooky. How can I reach the upper levels? We don't know. This isn't our village. Even if I knew, I wouldn't go up there. Oh, you lead an exciting life.
Hello, I'm Morgan Castillo. I am Tana, the cousin of our chief. I need to talk to Chief Chairman. Why would you want to do that? The little man is a fool, but he's your cousin. He has convinced himself that I put a curse on Bajari. He is in his heart trying to find a solution to the problem. Hello? <laughs> he won't wake up. Tana, hello Morgan. I tried shaking Chairman, but he wouldn't wake up. You must never try to wake him suddenly from a trance. It is dangerous and could kill him. Is there a way to bring him out of it? I really need to talk to him. The only safe way is by using a special recipe. There is a book about such things in the hut. I need a recipe book. Aha! Uh -huh. This looks perfect. But someone told me dummies aren't used in voodoo. There are all kinds of recipes in here. Curing warts, getting rid of flatulence. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's the one I need. Bringing someone out of a trance. Looks like I need a number of ingredients. A voodoo preparation kit. Blood and a feather from a chicken. A crab claw. Petals from the kaba flower. Water from the bowels of the earth. It says here that the voodoo kit contains a number of things. Flasks, special papers, and a particular voodoo vessel. They must be specifically made for this kind of thing. A crab claw. I'd better find the kit. This sounds a bit gruesome. It says that the blood and feather must be taken from the chicken at the full moon. <laughs> at least it doesn't say I have to kill it. Then I have to write the name of the person in blood on the voodoo paper using the feather. Oh, I hope I spelled Chemin right. This part says I must put the crab claw, the petals, and the water into the voodoo vest. After mixing them, I heat the vessel on the fire and wait for the smoke to rise. When the smoke is rising, I must place the paper on the voodoo vessel and speak Chemin's name. That should do the trick. A I need this to complete the recipe. Oh, the voodoo vessel isn't here. Perhaps it's already on the fireplace. I don't want to burn my hand. Tana! Hello, Morgan. Do you know what the Gaba flowers look like? They are beautiful. Where do you want to go? Let's sail. I'll take it with me. I don't know how Garrett...
a reputation for being a thief. Where do you want to go? Let's say hello. Where do you want to go? This may be useful. I hope no one saw me. I could get the blood and feather by the light of this full moon. This isn't sacrilegious. That's the feather removed by moonlight. I can load up the feather with blood. I hope I got his name right or the spell won't work. Where do you want to go? Let's sail away! Miss Brown? Yes, dear. These flowers are exactly like those described here. I should ask Miss Brown about them. Miss Brown? Yes, dear. Those beautiful flowers. They wouldn't be Kaaba flowers, would they? Indeed they are. They have such a refreshing fragrance. Could you let me have one, please? Oh, oh, I'm afraid not. It's not every day that the governor gives me flowers. I have the intention to keep them until they die completely. Well, getting one of these flowers won't be easy. I need a plan. Hi, Percy. Yes? I'm having a terrible problem with some weeds. Oh, I've got just the thing for that in my... Is it all right if I borrow it? Of course it is. It's in a small round bottle. A couple of drops in a pint of water will do the trick. <laughs> the gate is open. I should enter the shed if I want to search. I think the shelf is empty. 
No, wait. There's a small round bottle. Percy said the weed killer was in a round bottle. I think Percy would kill me if he saw this. Some of the petals fell off. I hope the petals will still work. Lord! Oh, what happened to my beautiful flower? I must have put too much water in the vase. Oh, how silly of me. Well, flowers only last a short period of time. Try to see it positively. The governor will have another opportunity to buy you flowers. Oh, it took him almost a decade to buy the first bouquet. I'd rather not... No! I forgot this... That part worked perfectly. Chairman. The blonde will be our savior. What have you done? I just brought you out of your trance. Never interfere with the dealings of a shaman. I should I I should sacrifice you to the island. Chief Chairman? Yes. You said something about a blonde just before you came out of the trance. That has no relevance. I went into a trance to discover the truth about Tana's curse. <sighs> Now I'll have to start all over again. What if there isn't a cur <laughs> Nonsense! How else can you explain Banjari's sickness? He could have just picked up something. You dare undermine my position as a shaman? Sorry, I just thought- Well, don't! Can I ask you some questions about Hollow Island? It's not called Hollow Island. Its proper name is Atabe Island. Yes, of course. Sorry. Do you know anything about Buckleberry Tanner? He and my father were once very good friends. I was very young at the time. Did Tanner ever speak about the Golden Turtle? He had a huge argument with my father over it. Guama felt that Tanner should never go there. Tanner wanted him to look after something, but my father refused. Do you know what it was or who might have looked after it? No, on both counts. I was too young to remember. What can you tell me about Chief Bajari? <laughs> He's very full of his own importance, putting his own guards at the temple entrance. Still, he knows who to turn to when sickness strikes. How can I get to see him? I need to ask him what he knows about Tanner. Take this pebble and show it to the guards. They will let you through once you've done so. Thank you.
Jamin told me to show you this. Oh, this means you are able to enter it. Hello, I'm Morgan Castillo. How did you get into the temple? Jamin gave me a pass. He had no right to do that. Can I ask you some questions? No. I refuse to talk to you until my sickness has been healed. You're a powerful man. Your sickness must be very great to affect you this way. It is indeed. No one in the world has been as sick as I am. It is a curse. What makes you say that? It started when I first met Tana. She must have put a curse on me. Perhaps I should talk to her. Tell her to remove the curse at once. Tana, hello Morgan. I spoke to Bajari about his sickness. He's convinced it's caused by a curse. Then he is as big a fool as Jamin. I do not know how to curse anyone. There must be more to it than that. Jamin is causing trouble for me. All I have ever done is smile at Bajari and flirt with him. Tell me, what is your interest in Bajari? He is a wonderful man, a great and powerful chief. You just said he was a fool. All men are fools. We women must learn to ignore the thoughts they have. <laughs> That's a lot of ignoring. Anything else about the jar? I would love to be his wife, but Jamin disapproved. I need to have another word with Chief Bajari. Hello, Chief. Morgan. Tell me more about the curse. What brings on your sickness? I feel very strange all the time. But whenever I see Tanner smiling at me, it becomes much worse, and I am sick in my stomach. Whenever I think of her, I lose my appetite. I am cursed. <laughs> now I understand. You're not ill or cursed. You're clearly in love with Tana. Love? How is this possible? I never felt this way when I married my first wife. She likes you and has been flirting, not cursing you. Thank you, Morgan. Now, can I ask you about Buckleberry Tanner? What? I haven't heard that name since I was a boy. I'm trying to find someone who was once a good friend of Tanner. He and my father were very good friends. But my father died many years ago. Did he ever give him anything to look after? Y well, yes. Now I'm looking after it for... Tanner died years ago. Would you give it to me? No, it has been entrusted to my father. Have you ever seen this before? By the spirits, yes. Tanner said that it was very special. It is. Tanner has left a trail of clues that he wanted someone to find and bring together. The object you have is part of that trail. How do I know that this is what Tana wanted? Have I not proven myself to you and helped you? Mm, you are right, Morgan. I will bring Tana's object to you. Thank you. Can you bring it to the jetty? I will see you there shortly. Tana, hello Morgan. I thought you may be interested to know that Bajari is cured. Praise Adiban. This is good news. What happened? 
How is Bajari doing? I think he's never really been cursed. Unless you consider love as a curse. What do you mean? <laughs> Sometimes things are so obvious it blinds us. You two are in love. But how do you know? Bajari's never shown me a sign. Do you really think he came to your village to see Jemin? Those two are like cats and dogs. Oh, this is wonderful. Now I will have to talk to each of them and find the right words. I'm sure you will. You and Bajari deserve to be happy together, whatever Jemin thinks. Chief Chemin? Yes! I thought you may be interested to know that Bajari is cured. How is that possible? I didn't even complete the ritual. What have you done? I just listened to him. He's not sick and even less cursed. He's just in love with Tana and vice versa. What? Bajari and Tana in love? This is ridiculous! Unless... Yes, yes, maybe there is an explanation. You see, this isn't so bad after all. I'm glad you're taking it so well. The only explanation is that they are both cursed. What have you done, evil woman? Well, good luck to Tana and Bajari. Convincing Chairman won't be an easy task. Senor Brisco? Yes? I found the identity of Tanner's friend. It was one of the island chiefs. You spoke with him? Unfortunately, the man is dead. But his son has something that Tanner gave to the old chief. What are we waiting for? Let us visit him immediately. There is no need. Chief Bajari has agreed to bring... How wonderful! Yet again, you have succeeded in progressing our quest. As promised, this is what Tanner gave to my father. It's another map? How exciting! Let us take a closer look. My people have never seen an island with this shape. This is similar to the other map we have. Yes, indeed. Do you think that the letter T has any significance? We have a B on the other map. And T on this one. It must stand for Buckleberry Tanner. You know, my dear, I think you may well be on to something. I'm going to try combining these two maps. Look what this has revealed. It's an island in the shape of a turtle. What an important discovery. I agree. However, we do not know where this turtle island is located. Chief Bajari. Yes? Can you tell me anything more about Tanner? His tale of exploration was always exciting. He and my father would talk long into the night. Was there anything specific that might help us? After all these years, it has become mixed up. I can remember no particular detail. Do you know the location of Turtle Island? It is a place of legend. If Tanner discovered this island, he truly was a great explorer. But you don't know. What next? You know, seeing that map has reminded me of something that always puzzled me. Tanner always wrote notes about everything he did. Why would that puzzle you? If it was so important, wouldn't he just remember what he did? If we could find Tanner's notes... He never gave them to my father. Tanner would have kept them with him. And we know he died on Crab Island. So his notes are likely to be there somewhere. We shall return there immediately and continue our search. I hope you're both right about this. Returning to Crab Island because Tanner made some notes about everything, that's a long shot. 
It makes perfect sense, Captain. I'm only surprised that I didn't think of it myself. If we'd had his notes from the beginning, we'd have saved a lot of bother. But then we may not have found the turtle rod. I have a feeling that it's going to prove very important.